What's up, guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Viking Squad. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and beat down some more enemies. So as it turns out, I probably didn't need to grind. I just needed to get good. I'm just being a noob, I guess. There's not a whole lot more stuff for us to buy right now. I think we should be good instead. I think I'm going to focus on increasing my stats. Might be a better plan. And so I increased my health by a little bit. And then I think it might also be a decent idea to increase our damage by a little bit. And so we've accomplished level 20. In addition, we're probably not going to advance in levels too far right now. But what I'd like to do is maybe make my potions more effective. Having like two of those is probably a good idea. I don't know if those are permanent or if those are consumables like everything else that we have. But I suppose we're going to figure that out the hard way. Let's jump onto our longboat and get going. I beat the level that we got stuck on in the previous episode. Wasn't too bad, actually. I think actually what happens is if you take any of the side doors, you're kind of agreeing to hard mode. Whereas if you settle and you just follow the straight path, it actually seems to be kind of straightforward. So we'll see how it goes. I'm still going to play around with that. And so maybe we'll come back after we beat the main paths, and then we'll start worrying about the side paths. Alright, so our cloaked guy right here, I think what's going to happen is he's going to absorb like a couple of parts from each person. Oh, the cathedral, never mind. I guess the cathedral door you can choose to bypass and go to the next area, never mind. So you can choose to go to the next area, or you can just like hang out here and hope that everything works out okay. Ooh, almost got me right there. Not for lack of trying, anyways. I think what I'd very much like is to kill you off. He dropped a treasure, which is great, because I have a fondness for it. I'm going to continue beating down enemies. Man, I'll tell you what, you start hitting hour like number 30 being awake. Basically, what ended up happening is there was a new release I was thinking about covering, and then it came out at like 4 in the morning. And so I was like, all right, so I can pull it all nighter right now, and I can bang this out. I've got options, you know what I mean? Like, I can pull an all-nighter and I can bang this one out, or B, I can check it out. And what ended up happening is I checked it out and it really wasn't up to snuff. It wasn't something that I was super excited about and I felt like putting it on the channel was probably a mistake. And so basically I stayed up all night for like nothing and now I kind of got to sort my shit out and handle my... Oh, I got hit with a shovel. Damn it. It's just like visiting Grandma's house all over again. I'm just going to keep beating you down. There it is. See, y'all getting flattened by runic attacks right now. That's right. I'm bringing the alphabet into this bitch. Perfect. Beat him down, and there's the combo. Life is looking good. So it looks like there's a couple of kings. There's like an orange one with a kitty cat. There's a gray one. There's a purple derp one, and there's a red one. Can I go back behind this wall? Is that possible? No. That would be kind of a cool, like, sneak feature. I think I'm going to follow this guy. I'm going to try and get rid of what I can get rid of. It does feel like we're getting more treasure now. I don't know if I had brought that up yet. But it does feel like the levels are, like, giving out a couple more crowns and things compared to the other ones. I'm going to get rid of whoever I can right now. Because I would hate to be one to waste an opportunity. Ah, I caught that bomb straight to the dome. Caught that one to the dome, too. I swear to God, I'm pressing trigger right now to dodge, but there's kind of like a... You can't dodge out of your attacks, so once you dedicate to the attacks, you're stuck with them, and you're going to eat the hits if you're going to eat the hits. And so, essentially, I'm getting too aggressive, and I'm paying for it over and over and over again because I never seem to learn my lesson, and I'm bad at video games. Nope. Not going to play that. Hmm... I suppose that I can destroy your pews. Seems like kind of a dick move. I mean, somebody's got to, like, fix and repair these. Oh, my God. Dude, Frankie's got cannons. Frankie, what's up with you here? Let's maybe hurt you. Oh, that was cheese. So he had no flinch even to our super? God damn. Can I... Okay. So it looks like the secret to Frankie is actually that we can charge through him. I'm going to try not to get hit by any bombs here. That's right, Frankie. I got your number. Frankie's going to do a little artillery barrage up here and try and take me out. Nope. Not today, Franklin. Not today. That's right. I'm breaking out the Christian name. 
Franklin's back at it again, unfortunately. Come on. Give me those hits. Ow. There it is. See, I don't get shook. I stay on that ass. I know what Franklin needs. Franklin needs that beaten because his mama didn't give it to him. And that's why he's down here guarding a dungeon after he died is because he just... He didn't do what Mama told him. I ain't going that sideways way. Oh, it's going to make me go that sideways way. Never mind. Apparently, we are in the upper tomba now. Hooray. Upper tomba time. Can I break this maybe for some meat or some way to preserve my life force? There we go. Yep. All the meat that I can devour for right now. Good. That's what I like to see. There's probably going to be a dragon or some shit in here, isn't there? Something's going to try and hurt me before we get to the end of this. He's in here stealing all the coins. The king's coins, even. Something's just against the rules. That's poor form. You can't be stealing the king's coins. Grab my little spirit bubble right there. Oh, he's got Oompa music. Oompa music always makes me feel nervous. Because that means, like, the level's going to be frustrating, but they don't want you to get mad at it, so they give it kind of like a funny soundtrack, you know what I mean? Like, we've all been there. So, what's that little flamey thing right there? Like, what does that do? Can I break it? Oh, I can smack it. Okay. Well, then I shall strongly consider smacking it MOA. I don't feel like my damage went up that much. Like, I feel like I'm hitting guys right now, and they're not going down. I could probably pick this up. What is this little... Oh, he's got, like, an extra skull right there, just in case you got to swap it out for maintenance or whatever. Understood. Give me your spirit orb so I can super hit people here. Ooh. A big old gemstone. I didn't even know that was a thing that you could have. I don't think we've ever seen any of those drop yet. Ooh, fireballs he cannot be hit by. Okay. So let's not play around in those lanes then. Come on, jump down to this lane. I know you want it. Oh, there's actually... Okay, so... Let me jump over. Oh, the top lane's clear too. Okay, I can live with that. Come on. Spend some time with me. I don't want to hurt you. Ow, shit balls. See, and all that hard-earned time that I spent trying to get my health back, I don't suppose that you guys have, like, any treasure inside of you that you want to bequeath. Ooh, treasure goblin. Yeah, I don't mind if I do, little treasure buddy. Perfect. Give me your crowns and all your coins because obviously I'm at to buy upgrades soon because I'm, I'm dragging. My character's not doing so great right now. A little bit more meat to be had. Jump over that fireball. Maybe avoid getting beat down too handily or footily, depending on what kind of weapons they like to use. Like if they got those little kick spiky things, you know, on their footses. You know what? I'm just going to drop a big hit on you, and you can enjoy. Suffer the pain of my wrath. And that actually got me two more of those little orby things. So I'll take them. Stomp out season, which is actually fall. They never tell you that part. When somebody discusses stomp out season, they never tell you that stomp out season is fall, but it is. So in case you were trying to add that to yo calendar, son, get beat down. I'm just going to start dropping this all the time because it seems to be working out really well for me. Like, if they're going to give me a whole bunch of spirit balls or whatever, I'm going to be risking... Man, if I'm going to be ripping the testicles off of... You know, posthumous creatures, then might as well be using the benefits that come along with it, too. Ew, there's goopy shit on the floor. I don't think that's a good sign. Is it ectoplasm? Like, what is that? Oh, he almost got me. He tried to fish one out right there. Oh, good. We got the little squishy guys again. I like the little squishy guys. I don't mind little squishy dudes at all. Done. And now we got our super attack charge back up in case we come across a boss or anything else that wants to give us any more trouble than what we're up against already. I'm going to unlock that one because I love treasure. 
I'm trying to get my level ups on. I'm trying to get my coin on too. I honestly don't know how much our potions. I wonder how much our potions heal for now that we've done the two upgrades. Like, think it'll be as high as like 20, or do you think it'll be something like lower along the lines of like, oh, I don't know, 14. Like maybe we get two HP per upgrade. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to play those shenanigans. I think I'm going to knock you out as early as I can. And I'll go over the top on you. Give him that MJ. Come on, come here. Accept your whoopings. That's a freezy bomb. What do you got for me? You know, I would love some potions. I will not turn it down for a moment. Oh, we're back on another raft again. Now, for those of you that don't know, if you played a lot of beat em up games, a staple of the beat em up game is the moving background. So typically you're on like an elevator, tends to be the one that it is, or you're like falling through the air on like some object or something like that. It's a staple. If you've got a beat em up game, you have to have a level that takes place on a moving stage. If you don't have it, your game is just not up to snuff. It's just, you have to have one. It's not even negotiable, it's just part of the genre. It's like a platforming game having like a Mario reference or something, you know? I don't want to fall off this rap, but these guys aren't really dropping anything either, sadly enough. Not getting a lot of treasure out of this. But it looks like you get five per upgrade. Not bad. Could absolutely be worse. I can either go through here and go to something else. Or I can go to the right. Let's go through the key door and see what happens. Ooh. I don't know if this is like a treasure goblin challenge or what this is supposed to be, but... That's right. Give me what I want here. There we go. Ooh, doing work right now. Yeah. Oh, no. There's enemies. That's nowhere near as good as treasure. If I can just clear a couple of you off the screen, I feel better about my prospects here. Done. Like, who else wants some? Yeah, I saw your little spearman attack. I ain't worried about it. Oh, there's Frankie. Okay, Frankie's back. Come on, Frankie. Frankie know how to play though. You gotta be careful with Frankie, because Frankie will flatten that ass. He'll get up in there. He'll give you shelf butt if you can help it. Ow, like that right there. I tried my best not to play Mario Kart here and catch shells to the face, but Frankie ain't making it easy on me. Frankie like to play that tough guy game. That's right, I'm on a different lane. I'm changing shit up. Ooh, almost got me. Mm-hmm, about to beat that tunic off your ass. Well, you need three heads for him, man. When you ain't even using one. Finished. Let's continue. That went better than expected, actually. I was hoping it wouldn't go down like that, but... Yeah, nice try, Viking Ghost. Oh, shit on me. I fell in whatever that is. Ah, oh, bitch. Aw, oh, man. I messed up my lanes. Alright, let's get him out of here. I'm gonna drink a potion real quick. We got one potion left, and we're up against the Royal Guard, who is made mostly of, like, amorphous jelly. I don't know what to say about this dude. His lane transfer doesn't seem to be real strong, so... I think I'm gonna play that angle. Oh, that was t a tiny bit. What happens if we hit the purple shit? Like, out of curiosity. That's right. 
I smacked you one time with my hammer. I gave you a nice firm no. Ow, like somebody's training a dog. Man, we got treasures for days right now if we can kill this guy. Do you have a foot coming out where an arm should be? That's not, uh, you should definitely go see a podiatrist or something. There we go. Frankie, or no, you're not Frankie. I forget your name already. Oh, he gave us a weapon that's like made out of bone. That'll be fun. It gives you all runic attack too. That'll be pretty clutch. So we can either go into the challenge room or we can probably just make for our boat. I'm just going to make for the boat. You know, why stress about it? Oh, we got a rune helmet, so that's fun. Maybe I have to go this way. Yes? Oh, man, dude with the yellow crystals trying to... Did you just give me the finger? So unpleasant in these dungeons. Why can't we just be gentlemen while we're in here? I can tell already this is going to work out for nobody. Little King. So he's got like a bubble shield. Oh good, and he fires weird little X-Man powers at me. Ah. It looks like I got to burst his bubble. Well, not so bad yet. I mean, I have my sneaking suspicions it's going to get worse, but... As long as I keep my eyes up, we should be alright. So he's back. He gives himself a bubble. I'm on the wrong lane. Now he's on this one. Let's go ahead and give it to him here. I mean, we're doing... Ow, my ass! You know what? Forget you, man. Enjoy getting whooped on. Perfect. I mean, I'd like to be doing better right now. But I've still got a potion left, so that's not that bad. Why don't you come to my lane? Why are you making it so difficult on me to whoop that ass? There we go. Oh, I think he's got health thresholds. So you really can't whoop him too hard. Almost got me right there. He's trying. Good God. I want all straight Jubilee in here. This is probably the repetition attempt. You can tell what line he's going to be on. But just staying on him, he's going to be top line over here. I prefer not to leave that bubble off him for too long. Ah. There we go. Ah. He might make me do another repetition. I got him twice on that swipe, though. Ah. See, I think you got to get him twice. And I'm going to drink a potion just in case. I know he's close, but... Yeah, I just can't risk it. Like, if I had eaten one more hit and we had died right when his health bar was that low, I would have felt really stupid about it. Three more treasure. That was a really profitable run for us. Like a really, really profitable run. Here at Heimdall's Gate, we're doing pretty well. Man, look at that pile of treasure. We did good on What do you need that many giant mugs that you can't even hold for, though? Like, I don't know. 
bunch of Bubba Cups loaded up in the truck. And by truck, I mean longboat. Not bad. Pretty profitable level for us. Now, I'm of the opinion... That's rune three. Okay. What can I do here? That's attack minus attack two. We can do attack two, rune attack two, and luck two. Or we can go rune attack three on that one. I'm leaning towards that dude right there because that spreads us a little bit more evenly when it comes to our skills on this side. Bro, give me that attack damage. Man, people are looking sexy when I'm hitting enemies because that seems to be the big hinging factor right now. Is like, can I kill it with two or three hits? Give me a potion real fast. We'll trade in those two for a couple more coins. And there it is. We're done here. Back onto the boat, and let's see what remains. There can't be that much game left, I don't think, for like the main campaign playthrough, which is what we're going to focus on. But hey, what do I know about anything? I may cut this one a little bit short just because... You know, some people don't like beat-em-ups or whatever. I love beat-em-ups. Oh, look, I can break cactuses with my hammer. Obviously, that's ecology approved. I do like how the levels are different, though. Like, things don't all look the same. Sorry, nomads. Or whatever you are in the desert. Ow, hit with a shield. I've been bludgeoned with a defensive weapon. It looks like their weapons are made out of some kind of like magic green crystal or something. Ah, how bad could it get? Oh good, I can break the rocks with my hammer too. Uh, what the hell is that? There you go, get him Dougie. That's it, I'm naming you Dougie from now on. You are Dougie, the man smiter. <laughs> just whooping on dudes, just making it happen. Just making it look ugly, making it painful, making them suffer. Come on, Dougie, I know you're with me. We got this. Mm hmm, Desert Chocobo, I believe in you. Never let me down, Desert Chocobo. Never let me down. <laughs> this, this ostrich just killing on people right now. He puts his head in the sand when he's done. That makes me feel sad for him. His busted ass chest is held together with band-aids. That's like the check into cash banking solution of the medieval times here. I'm just going to keep doing this. It seems to be working pretty well. And if it works, don't vary up the formula. I'll be honest, I'm pretty happy with the system right now. I'm not seeing a whole lot of flaws. We're basically cakewalking and face rolling our way through this. You know what? I think I deserve it. I think I deserve it based on the way the day's been going. Man, I still ain't lost this ostrich. Oh, they're going to make me choose between treasure and the ostrich. See, that's the tough part. None of these guys seem particularly difficult, though. So here, I'll just skill these guys right now. Let me get that crown dough. Can I go back and pick that up in a minute? I wonder if I can clear the whole level out, then come back and... Ooh, another crown. Oh, I lost my ostrich. I'll take a man's ostrich. That seems like that'd be a fighting proposition. Like, you remove the ostrich, and he might never forgive you, you know? I don't know if I'm willing to make enemies. Why do you guys keep attacking me from this side? I don't know. Because you enjoy making it easy. I think I'll go ahead and collect my treasure now. I don't know what this is, but it's got a rock and goatee. It almost looks like he's unhappy, but he's got tiny little hands, and he's like, ooh, I'm so excited. Like, he's holding him up under his chin, you know? And also, I'm losing health right now doing dumb shit. I wonder if this is like a transitional level. 
Or if this is like one of the real levels, you know, it's going to end up with me having to murder somebody that deserves it. I really do enjoy that combo. Something about juggling somebody that's just eminently enjoyable. That attack goes so far, and it also hits you while you're on the ground. What did I learn today? Ouch, spears hurt. They are pointy. That's a nerd castle lesson, everybody. I'm out of time for the day. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for stopping on in for another episode of Vikinga Squad. I will see you all in future episodes. I hope you've been enjoying this so far. I've been enjoying it quite a bit, and so I really, you know... And planning on at least, oh no, I made a mistake. Do I have anything to heal with? I do, actually. I was a little bit worried I didn't have anything to heal with, but... Man, you gotta watch out. A spear dudes are in your lane. They're coming straight for you. Don't even try that, spear dude. Ooh, fruit. Ooh, 10 HP for fruit. Apparently, meat is less healthy in this game. They want you to eat your fruits. Apple a day keeps the doctor away and all... Ooh. A little ninja looking guys in here too, or like little Saracen looking. I'm not even sure what they're supposed to be to be honest. But I will see you all later. Thanks for stopping on in.